How many is that? I have lost count. Is that five or six? Eight! Damn you, blackguard. How the devil can it be eight? I've barely been away from home for... Well, what hour is it? Mr. Calverley, it can't be later than... Uh, uh, gone midnight, is it? I, I see. Eight bottles. Seems a devilish large amount of claret, though. I seem to be standing upright yet. Aye, it takes more than eight bottles of claret to bring Sir John Paternoster low. Hurrah! Hurrah! Another, sir! I would drink to my own fortitude. Now, gentlemen, there is a girl, I'm told. There ought always to be a girl walking there. Should we drink to them, sirs? To the girls, the ladies, the women, sirs? <coughs> no? Aye. Ah. Uh, as you say, time hastens on and on. Then let us go, gentlemen. Lead me to her. A pretty one. Huh. Oh, dark eyes. Like my own daughter's, Mr. Calvin. Yes, a dark-eyed daughter. Beneath the peruke and the reddest of red poles, you know. A beautiful child she was, sir, as this one is. Hello, my dear. Nay, do not cry. Do not weep, my child, for all will be well. All will be well, won't it, Mr. Calvary? I fear I'm not entirely myself. There is something in the heart of a man that quails, is ashamed before innocence. There is something that abhors corruption. There is something in our souls, sirs, that looks out through our human eyes and says, This shall not be. This foulness shall not stand. It says, Mr. Calvary. Even as we wade knee-deep in it. Do not hurry me, sirs. I will not be jostled. Each thing in its turn. Pass their cup. No. She pleads, sirs. Ah, oh, my dear, my dear. She is afraid. I cannot. I shall, of course. I only feel that I cannot. What is it the woman says, the mad Scotch bitch, in the Shakespeare play? Ah! Had he not resembled my father as he slept? Aye, I should have done it by now, had she not had such a look of my own dear one. I had a conversation, Mr. Calvary, in the inn just now, before you brought me here. There was a fellow who told me that London is a fine city, a fair city, was once upon a time. He was a drunken fellow, of course. I, I said to him, is it not still so? And he laughed, this fellow. It cannot be, it will never be, he said, as long as man puts his faith in man. I prayed to God, you know, sirs. I, I, all in good time. I could not say that I put my faith in God. Forgive me, Mr. Calvary, for I know you are devout. But I prayed. Asked. By, by damn, I've never asked for anything in my life, sirs, and yet I tell you I knelt 
by my daughter's cot, and I prayed to God. This d d damn fellow in the red lion inn, I threw my wine in his face and laughed as he sputtered. Man is born into corruption, Mr. Calverly, and he will die in its midst. There is no purity! Nothing is holy! There is no justice, and I fear. There is no mercy. Refill the cup, sir. And again! Listen. She prays, our pretty young lady here, by Christ, a joke, a filthy joke. Be quiet, girl. Close your eyes, I cannot bear to look at them. Close your eyes. What does he say, Mr. Calverley? By God, Dr. Calverley, you must know. What does he say, that Scotchman in the play? I. I am in blood, stepped in so far, that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as go on. Now, now let's get to it. Enough of this shilly-shallying. Action, sirs! Action is what the situation calls for. I'll tell you, sirs, as you stand there with your Latin and your grand wigs, and your fine university degrees, seven-eighths of all the evil in this damn world are brung about by fellows sitting around thinking when what's called for is action. I know how it is, Mr. Calverly, when a fellow sits alone. descends into thoughtfulness. I cannot be alone myself, sir, since our Ruth was taken from us, our dark-eyed girl. I even find myself fearful of the dark, like a child. No, sir, I must not be alone. Do you hear that? Never! Thinking cursed is a very hell. Action, my boys! Let us to it. Who has wine? One of you has wine. <laughs> then fetch wine! Go, damn you! What will nine do that eight has not? Now, oh, oh, my... Pretty girl, why do you weep? All will be well. Did I not say so? I promise it. I give you my word. My word as a fellow of the College of Surgeons. Mr. Calverley, hand me the sword. 